We, we knew for, for some years now that there is almost certainly water in the form of ice and perhaps huge quantities of it uh, in the shaded regions of the north and south pole of the moon where the sun don't shine, basically. Um, however, this discovery is important because what they've done is they've discovered water in the places where the sun does shine out there on the plains of the moon. Uh, now, it's not liquid water sitting on the surface in puddles. Uh, these are individual molecules of water which appear to be floating over the surface. It's, it's not clear how they're created, but the suspicion is that radiation from the sun is hitting glass beads on the surface and releasing water from inside into a very tenuous atmosphere. Um, Europe and the United States are still planning before the end of this decade uh, to put women and men onto the surface of the moon again. Uh, and the target at the moment uh, is a crater at the south pole of the moon called Shackleton Crater, named, of course, after the great uh, Ernest Shackleton from Moon in County Kildare. Now, Shackleton Crater is constantly shadowed in its depths because the sun doesn't shine there they think there's ice water in the bottom of the crater, but it's hard to get at. Now, if this uh, finding is correct, it appears to be it's a very, very good piece of science. If this is correct, then it's possible they could land on a flatter surface and actually find water at their feet.